Hello everyone, welcome back to more near replicant. Uh, back to questing. Last time, every the shit really hit the fan, and we got completely fucked. Manualize that seafront part. Collect ten broken lenses. Oh my god! Now, now we got the shit ones. An old lady standing. Oh yeah, the scattered. No, this was gonna take for fucking ever too. Uh, here we go. Alright, and this is scattered cargo. Alright, then. An old lady standing under a tree. Yeah, okay. Near the village. So, uh, seafront shoreline, there might be one. So, where the fuck is that? Let's pick up some cargo, shall we? I don't know, but we need to pick up some cargo. It says near the shoreline, so... My guess is here? This might be it. Hey, this is one of the pieces of cargo that washed ashore. Ah, oh, he sounds so weird now. <laughs> I want to look inside. Sorry, lady, but I need to know what I'm transporting here. Are you sure this is really something we were meant to... Oh, and what is this? Whatever it is, it's been waterproofed somehow. A and it smells like explosives. Oh my gosh, you... This is some rather dangerous cargo we've been asked to find. <laughs> it is filled with strange potions and documents. What on earth was that old woman transporting? <laughs> Who's to say? Alright, and now we need to go over to my own village. Wait, there was also the other one that I wanted to do. It was here. Just need to find the name. And I hate fucking quests in this game, dude. The strange... There we go. Strange fate of the jewel. Oh. Search seafront for leads. Now we just gotta talk to people, but it says here that the uh, lighthouse lady was involved. Maybe the guy up here might know more. Also, I like how during this let's play, I've also been kind of going back and forth on. Uh... We'll need ten broken. Okay. So just gotta walk around seafront and ask people. I think I should do the cargo first. Where were the other locations? Shoreline in the northern plains. There are three pieces of cargo, huh? Alright, let's go home. Yeah, because now I'm like thinking about actually picking up some uh, MPM figures. But that mainly has to do, like the reason why I'm thinking about picking that up is because of the... It's, it's the pricing of the studio series aftermarket. It's like, I find, like, Studio Series Leader Class Jetfire for, like, 160 to 200. Like, Studio Series Leader Class Shockwave is between 110 to 160 or 50. And it's like, yeah, okay. Where the fuck is this? Oh, that's in the Northern Plains, I think. No, that's in the Northern Plains. Alright, time to search for some water. Maybe it's over here. And it's like, at that point, I might just uh, as well pick up MPM figures. Aha! I think this is one of the pieces of cargo that washed ashore. 
no offense to that lady, but I'm not carrying around some box unless I know what's inside. Have you assuaged your guilds with that feeble excuse? Then I suggest we... Hello? What have we here? I've never seen flowers like this. They smell... weird. I believe they can be refined into a powerful yet poisonous drug. I doubt very much that they are legal. <laughs> Drugs and explosives again. Just what is all this for? A supply of this size could provide for the military of a small country. It seems you humans are incapable of learning from the mistakes of the past. Yep, that's true. There's one thing that's true, it is definitely that. And now it's under the bridge to the junkyard. But yeah, but at that point, I could just pick up some MPM figures. Like, if if, if a Studio Series, like, uh, figures are gonna be around that price, like, I might as well just pick up some masterpiece, movie masterpiece figures. I wonder when we're gonna get, uh... Oh my god, who the fuck are you? Where's the bridge? The bridge is this way, this way, this way. There it is. Looks like this is one of the pieces of cargo that won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little peek shouldn't hurt. You know, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. What exactly? Need I remind you that? Um, what are those? Unlabeled medicine bottles with some kind of white powder inside. Uh oh. Oh. Given how carefully they were packed, I doubt we are dealing with sugar. Well, that seems to be all of it. A tremendous cache of illegal goods and dangerous materials. I'd wager my title page that our client is a smuggler. Yep. So what should we do? Hmm. Now we have a choice, I think. Deliver the cargo to the client. Wait, I'm, I'm, I see here the rewards. So if I deliver this cargo, I get 20 grand in gold, and I get a discount at Seafront's item shop, and uh, I also and it also has the following: recovery potion, strength capsule, magic capsule, defense capsule, and spirit capsule. And if I give it to the authorities, I get 50,000 gold. I'll deliver the cargo. Smuggled or not, I'm a man of my word. Let's take this back to the client. Yep. No bullshit, no nothing. Just taking us back to the client. In a bit, boys. Die, villain. Alright, let's head back to the old lady. Give her the cargo, the smuggler's cargo. Did you peek inside? No. Yes, I did. Maybe she has a good excuse as to why she's doing this shit. But yeah. Like, I fucking hate the aftermarket price of um, Studio Series figures. But I only pick up st uh, mas movie masterpieces in the month that in which I don't have to pick up Studio Series figures. Because, like, right now, the only Studio Series figures that I am actually actually want are Nightbird, uh, Novocaine, and Noah DS Exosuit. So, once I pick up those figures, it's like, which could be, that, which probably is going to happen next month. That, pro that probably isn't even gonna give me that much... Like, it's probably gonna cost around 60 bucks to just get all those figures. And then I can also pick up the games that I need to play. Ah, 
Ay, 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 that was not my plan. Oh, Lord. But yeah, I'll pick him up in between the months in which Studio Series has taken a break. Which is the rest of this year, because there's nothing else I want. The Bone Crush is coming out at the end of the year. According to both sites that I use for Transformers figures, they both say, like, around December. Like, somewhere in December is when they're coming out. It's like, okay, so... Potentially in October, I could start... Officially start the MPM line. Got your cargo. Ah, oh, excellent. And everything seems to be in good condition, too. I am a man of good work. Here is your payment. Please take it. Thank you. Also, I know the owner of the item shop in this town. I think you should find your future transactions there a bit Wait. more welcoming. Oh, it's just the, the, the item shop. That's good news. Oh, you know how it is. In my line of work, people tend to owe you favors. Anyway, I'd best be off. Perfect. There's also someone here who had a quest. Did you see that huge ship? The mermaid tier. Never heard of it. The lighthouse lady would have been the one to ask. She knew everything about precious stones. That old woman, is it? Yep. Perhaps a visit to her home is an order. Okay, that was easy. But yeah, not every MPM figure is going to cost 200 bucks. Because, I mean, right now, one of the sites that I'm using... Where am I going? Oh, wait, where's the item shop? Every fish we... Thanks! Let's shop around this place, the item shop. Ooh, here I get a discount. Ooh, recovery potion. Restores all of the user's HP. Oh my god, that shit's so fucking expensive. Yes, give me everything you got. I got enough quests on my on me in order to uh, finish it up. But yeah, but also that Bone Crusher looks really good. And I know, I, I think I said before, where it's like, yeah, but the movie masterpieces are not actually masterpieces. Because I've heard that... Uh, Megatron has issues. I've heard that Optimus has issues. So it's like, maybe... Hmm. There are two letters here for the Lighthouse Lady. According to the postmark, they're 50 years old. Didn't that jeweler say the mermaid tear was lost 50 years ago? This may be more than mere coincidence. It may behoove us to sneak a look inside these letters. Oh, I suppose it can't hurt. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I sense something bad happening. Here's the first letter. I am enclosing the mermaid to oh, thank my you. next letter. It is the only thing I have found in this world that can hope to compare to your beauty. Ah! And here's the second one. My dearest, I fear I cannot send the mermaid tear at this time. I hope you can forgive me for this terrible slight. Aww. So the mermaid tear was supposed to go to the lighthouse lady, but never made it. And yet the tear is no longer with its original owner. What can we conclude from this? Well, the second letter was sent from Seafront, which means the postman's father had started writing letters by that time. Which means the jewel must have made its way to this town. Ah, but I smell a rat. To the post office! Yes, sir! I also want to tweet out some of my videos. It won't take that long. But yeah, one of the sizes I'm using has blackout for like 114. It's like uh, price down, and normally that figure costs 220. So if at all possible, that will be the first MPM I will be focusing my attention on. After that, it will be whatever the two sites that I use have. And if they don't have anything anymore, it's to either Amazon or eBay. Whichever one's cheaper. 
first it's Amazon, and then it's eBay. If Amazon is like, yeah, we got this figure for 150 bucks, and, um, eBay's like, Here's a, here he is for 200, then yeah, okay, Amazon is the right call. But if Amazon is like 240 for MPM6 Ironhide, and it's like, and Amazon, and eBay's like, yeah. 180 then I'll be like ah well 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 All right fiend speak up Oh hello what can I do you for I'm looking for a package addressed to the lighthouse lady it would be about 50 years old Uh you want a package from half a century ago Yes your father was the previous postman right Did he ever mention something like that to you It's also weird like on one side bone crusher is 195 euros while on the other side, it's 190. It's five buck difference. Five euro difference. No, he just told me to keep writing the letters. But we keep all of our unclaimed packages in the storage room, so if she didn't pick it up, it's probably still there. Great. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a look. Oh god, back to this place again. Oh god, how did I do this again? I don't know if that was the right one. No, that was the right one. And voila. A 50 year old package. Hope the rats haven't eaten it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wait, is this it? It bears her name, and the postmark is 50 years old. Look, the jewel lies inside. Quickly, what does the letter say? As promised, I am enclosing the mermaid tier. Unfortunately, with this gift comes a piece of sad news. Aha, so he, he died with the... with the... Uh, ah, great. My love, I fear the illness which ravages my body will soon claim it. My dreams of traveling to you are all but lost. I desired so to give you this stone with my own hand. That I cannot is my greatest regret. So because of this piece of uh, this letter attached to it, they uh, were like, yeah, that's not. I thought maybe it was a robbery, but nope. He gave her his family's heirloom as a final gift. Hold a moment. I see another letter. Looks like a death notice. I see. So the poor fellow had already passed when the package arrived. Which means the postman oh. had already begun to lie to her. So what now? Do we give the jewel back to the client, or... Um, maybe the postman has an idea. Oh god, now I have an option. <laughs> huh. Let's <laughs> sell this sucker. Ha. <laughs> you would take a precious gift of love and sell it. Here you go. Here, these are the options. Selecting the following option. Bury the jewel in the memory of the old woman. Yields the following exchange. It's her keepsake. We should bury it with her. Postman's like, all right, I'll bury it next to the old woman's grave. Nier's like, thanks. Guess the next step is to visit the client. Selecting the option, give it to the client, is uh, basically states, I think we should give it to the client. Well, all right. If that's what you think is best, I doubt the old girl would complain about it. She probably got the jewel in heaven anyway. Guess the next step is to visit the client. And selecting the option to sell it yields the following exchange. Nier says, let's sell this sucker. Grimmore Vice like, ha, you would take a precious gift of love and sell it as a common trinket. Rather cheeky of you, if I may, might say. Nier, whatever, at least it'll put this whole thing to rest. I don't know, man. I mean, burying it with her is fine, but I think I'm just going to give it back to the client. I don't need to sell this fucking thing. I think I'll just give it to the client. I mean, she won't use it anyway. Did you find it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, but it's complicated. Here's the story. 
I see. It was from the woman's lover. Yes. I gotta say, I'm not sure what to do here. But the woman who wanted us to do it was also family, right or not? Well, you're the one who found it. Do whatever you think is best. Hmm. What should we do? Sell it now. Give it to the client. I think we should give it to the client. Well, all right. If that's what you think is best. I doubt the old girl would complain about it. She probably got the jewel in heaven anyway. Guess the next step is to visit the client. Let's just uh, complete this quest, because if I bury it, I get no reward. So what's the point of burying it? It's not like I cared for the old hag. Yes, yes. Did you find my jewel? Yes, yeah, I did. did. It's right here. Oh, I've waited for so long. Your sterling reputation, sir, has clearly been earned. I should have given her the letter as well. Finally, my grandfather's precious memento is home. Please, take this reward along with me. I should have given her the letter as well. That way she could have known that her grandfather had, like, a, a lover or her dad, an uh, uncle. I don't know. So the mermaid tear is being gifted to her. That thing must stir up some powerful memories. Alas, it is far too late to bring it to her now. It made its way to her in the next life. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I certainly hope so. That's five logs. Right. Alright, what's next on the board?